Today, we'll be talking about Remoa suitcases and specifically this one right here, which is their $1,700 original cabin twist model. I've had this one for about a year now, so I wanted to share with you my experiences with it, the things that I love about it, the things that I don't love about it. And at the end, really talk about is the Remoa suitcase really worth that price? Before we get started, I just wanted to explain quickly the difference between the twist model, which we have here, and maybe the normal original model that you might be familiar with. The only real difference is that the accents, meaning the handles, this little trim and around the clasp are a different color. That's pretty much it. Actually, the handles are wrapped in leather, so there's that as well. So the only real twist between the original cabin and the original cabin twist is basically different colors and a leather handle. Is that worth a $300 price difference? Probably not, but somehow I justified it because you're paying a premium just for it to look slightly better. I guess that's boy math for you. But let's talk about the actual suitcase itself because the original cabin twist and the original cabin are still made out of a complete aluminum body. And that's kind of like the iconic look of what makes the Ramoa suitcase so appealing. The hard shelled aluminum body is really what makes the Ramoa suitcase so iconic and also is very protective and sturdy so you don't have to worry about anything inside breaking. But at the same time, if you look closely at this suitcase that I've had for a year, it does get bust up. There are scratches and there are dents, which is kind of what comes with making a suitcase out of aluminum. If you want a suitcase that's gonna look pretty as far as not getting dented, not getting scratched up, then you should probably stay away from a suitcase like this, one that's made out of aluminum. But at the same time, having those scratches, having those dents kind of adds, you know, that personality, the character to the suitcase itself. You know, it could remind you of all the good times that you had, all the memories that you made. Or maybe it's just coping for the price that you paid and you want to kind of make yourself feel better. But that's where I want to talk about the lifetime warranty that actually comes with a Ramoa suitcase nowadays. If you bought a Ramoa suitcase after July 25th, 2022, it actually comes with a lifetime warranty now. That lifetime warranty does not cover cosmetic damage, you know, the dents, scratches, etc. But if your handles start malfunctioning or the wheels start breaking on you, then you could get those things replaced for free. Although Ramoa does offer repair services on your suitcase, if you do want to fix those dents, or those scratches. I believe the last time I checked, it was around $50 to get rid of all of, all of the dents on your suitcase, not just per dent $50, but it's mostly by case by case scenario. So it depends on how beat up your actual suitcase is. Moving on to the clamps of the suitcase itself. I think this is a big part of what makes the Ramoa suitcase a Ramoa suitcase. Like when you're opening up these clamps, the sound of it, it just sounds so satisfying. The feeling of it, is so satisfying. It's like, it, it kind of low-key reminds me of Call of Duty, Search and Destroy, like you just go pop, pop, dee, 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 dee. right? But that's probably not what you should be thinking about when you're at an airport. However, it does make you feel cool. And one big pro that I didn't realize about having a clamp system or clamshell clamp system like this over zippers is that you don't need to run a marathon going up and down your suitcase, just trying to open and close it. Instead, everything is you know right here, front and center. You have these two clamps. You can go ahead and clamp down. And if you want to open it, it's just two buttons. Boom, boom, and release. You don't have to go all the way around the suitcase. These clamps do come with TSA approved locks, which is a good thing. You don't have to buy any extra external third-party locks. Now let's make our way around back to the top of the suitcase to the handle, the telescopic stage-free handle that comes with these suitcases. So with your normal handles, you have different stages of what height you could adjust it to, right? There's usually maybe one or three stages where it just locks up and you have to keep it at that height. But with Ramoa suitcases, it is stage free. Meaning that after you get past this, like I guess first half point right here, you could lock it at any height that you want. And again, just like the clamps, I didn't realize how big of a feature that was until I actually started using it. So let's say you're throwing a backpack on here and you wanted to, you know, put the little luggage sleeve thing on and roll around your backpack. Well, maybe you'll have your handle a little bit higher than usual. Or maybe if you felt like you were shorter that day, you could have the handle slightly lower for you. You could adjust it to whatever height that you want and kind of adjust it for whatever you're putting on top of this when you're rolling it around the airport. The other big thing about this handle is that it doesn't really wobble, especially 
you when you're, you know, like fully locked and loaded, you aren't actually wobbling around the whole time walking from the airport. Like, I don't know if you notice on some suitcases where you have the handle fully up or, you know, adjusted to your height. And when you're trying to grab it, it almost tilts on, on two wheels. And with the remote suitcase, that's not an issue. That is not a problem. Every time that you're grabbing this suitcase, whether it's empty, whether it's full, it's gonna stay on all four wheels when you're grabbing it around. And right at the bottom of the handle, there's a little hidden feature on these remote suitcases. It is an NFC tag. So what you do is you put your phone near the end of the handle and it brings up this little notification that you click on and it opens up a website. Honestly, it doesn't really do much. It just shows you the actual serial number and model remote that you have. I guess you have access to the owner's manual or you could go ahead and service your remote suitcase, but would you use that feature? Probably not. Although a feature that you would use all the time on this suitcase are the wheels. And the wheels are probably what makes these suitcases so special. Ramoa uses a multi-wheel system that apparently has ball bearings and cushioned axles. And that's just fancy talk for this thing is smooth. Whether you're taking it on a carpet or on hard floor, this thing is going to roll like butter. Like I know there are some suitcases, some suitcase wheels out there, where as soon as it resists or feels some sort of carpet tingling on the wheel, it just like stops or it gets that tilting feature right where it starts going on two wheels but with the remote suitcases and you know the wheels in particular you won't have that problem before i owned one i've heard about remote wheels but i always didn't think that it was that big of a deal and it wasn't until i started comparing this suitcases to like my friend's suitcase or my old suitcase they actually could tell a difference. Again, I'm not just trying to justify the price off of the wheels, but there really is a noticeable difference when you're pulling this thing around compared to like, you know, a normal wheel on some other suitcase. There's really nothing like it. It's like the Rolls Royce of suitcases, I guess, if you will, if you will. <laughs> but it's also super strong. And like I've sat on this before and rolled around, I get, well, okay, I didn't roll around the airport entirely, but you know, you roll around outside the gate or you sit on it and it held up pretty well. I, maybe I don't recommend it for everyone to use it. I don't think that's gonna cover under warranty, but it's strong wheels. It's not gonna break on you. Besides the iconic look of these Ramoa suitcases, the wheels have to be one of their main selling points. And is it worth it? Is it worth the price? Well, we're gonna talk about that later. And before we move inside the actual suitcase itself, I wanna say that they do come with these leather baggage tags, luggage tags, and you can get them hot stamped for free at any remote store. And as we move into the actual suitcase itself, we are greeted by these two compartments, each with their own flex dividers. Both flex dividers have a zipper on them and this Velcro on them as well. And people seem to be like, have mixed emotions on the Velcro part because it is a very weak Velcro, a weak connection, a weak bond, I guess you could say, but it was done intentionally. So let's say you have like a really fancy t-shirt, silk t-shirt made from the hands of God, not sure. But if you put that in your remote suitcase, you're gonna know, you're gonna sleep well knowing that it's not gonna hit the Velcro and ruin that shirt. The Velcro is meant to, I guess, touch sensitive fabrics and not ruin them. I don't know, I don't have sensitive fabrics, so I haven't really experienced that before, but that's why the Velcro is so, I guess, weak, or at least weaker than what you might be used to. It's normal. The dividers themselves can be taken out completely. So let's say you don't wanna deal with the weak Velcro, or let's say you want more space, then you can take out the straps and the flex dividers themselves and have more space which is another thing about remote suitcases that are kind of a con, the space. The actual suitcase itself has no flex. It's hard shelled, it's made out of aluminum, so there is really no wiggle room. Whatever you fit inside will fit inside. Like you can't really stretch this suitcase to accommodate more things than what fits in it if that makes sense. So I've had my fair share of times where I had to actually sit on the suitcase itself to get it to the point where I could close it and clamp it. But again, that was a huge pro of having two clamps was that I just had to go one, two, clamp it, sold it's shut as opposed to taking the zipper and pressing it down along all the edges and closing it. You know, I'm sure you've been there before. The in between the two flex dividers or I guess the compartments, there's like the, I guess the booty crack is what you'd call it of the suitcase where there's a cover 
covering the booty crack. So that way when you're closing the suitcase, nothing is getting stuck or jamming up, I guess, or pinched on that part of the suitcase. The only thing that I have an issue with inside of the suitcase itself is that I wish one side was zippered. You know how like some suitcases have that zipper enclosure and the other side has like that divider? I wish that this suitcase came with an option like that as opposed to two separate dividers. Also, this model in particular is 35 liters. So do with that number as you may. <laughs> and another little statistic about this suitcase is that it weighs 9.5 pounds. And I am one of the strongest people that I know, probably top 10 up there somewhere next to Hercules or something, but it's still a heavy suitcase. Like I think in a way carry on, like a way the brand carry on with a similar size is around seven pounds. So this thing or this suitcase is considerably heavier than maybe what you have right now or other competing, competing competitor suitcases. Another little thing that comes with the suitcase is a big dust bag, which I haven't actually used to protect dust, but I've used it as a laundry bag before. So I guess it's a nice little touch that they added. And now we get to the part of the video where we get to talk about is this suitcase really worth it? And honestly, yes and no. It depends on what kind of person you are and what you're ex expecting from a suitcase like this. If you're gonna be buying a Ramoa suitcase, I think you have to understand or know that you are paying for a luxury brand. You're paying for this look because there are other actual suitcases that will do a similar job to this one, but at like a fraction of the price. So if you're okay with spending two times, three times, maybe even four times the normal amount of a carry-on suitcase, then I think Ramoa is a very good option to go with. Because again, the look is iconic. The wheels are amazing. The handles are great, stage free, right? We talked about that. So it comes with a very solid build and solid features, but it's just that you're paying that premium for the extra look, the luxury feel, to look super cool and stylish walking through the airport or through the hotel lobby. Personally, I love having my Ramoa suitcase with, you know, if I have to get another one later down the road, I'm probably gonna get another Ramoa, but hopefully the lifetime warranty helps me out, right? And I can just use the same one for the rest of my life. I also recommend sticking with the carry-on versions as opposed to the check-on versions or the check-in versions because it dents and scratches easily, right? But if you're okay with it getting all beat up or you have the money to keep repairing it or buying new ones, then the check-in versions you know, could be a good way to go. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. All right, shoots.